Hello friends, good morning. Today I want to show you all another beautiful plant in my garden and that is Mexican petunia. Look how beautiful the purple color flowers look. The petals are very thin and papery. Hence the flower survives only for one day. This plant is native to Mexico, hence it got its name. This plant is very easy to grow. It does not need any maintenance. And it is also disease resistant and survives heat. It is very heat tolerant. This plant is a perennial. Hence, when you plant it once, it gives hundreds of plants every year. And it produces these beautiful flowers throughout summer. Six years back, I bought one plant that had only two stems. And that single plant has produced hundreds of plants in my garden. I have shared lots and lots of plants to my friends. They all love this plant very much. This plant is a very tough one. So once when you plant it, it survives very easily. So this is the plant that I grow, got from one of my friends. All the old leaves are gone and see these are the new leaves. This is a pink colored one. There are hundreds of varieties of petunias. There are two different varieties of Mexican petunias. One is the dwarf one and the other one is the tall one. The one that I have here is the tall one. This one grows up to 8 to 13 or 15 inches. This petunia has long slender leaves. Since the stems grow 13 to 15 inches, it's better to plant this at the back of the bed in your garden. This is a shade loving plant Hence, this should be planted where there is complete shade in the garden or there is partial shade. This side of the garden gets partial sun. Hence, I have planted a couple of plants here. Because this side, I get shade from this big tree. Due to its vibrant color, it attracts flies, butterflies and bees. Hence, it's very good for my garden, for my girds. It's very easy to propagate this plant. It can be done through seeds, stem cuttings and also division. This is how the seeds look. They are oval shape and thin and long. Once when they become dry, they split like this in the center and small seeds disperse from these pods. We can also propagate through stems by cutting the stems at the nodes. Like here, you can cut at the node and we can plant it in a different area. And we can also propagate 
by division like these are the small plants you can pull this out with roots and plant in a different area so these are the three different ways of propagating Mexican petunia one important note about the flowers though this plant resists extreme temperatures when the temperatures are very high you will see the difference in the size of the flowers and also the color so if you observe now the size of the flower is small and the color is very light this is because since couple of days here the temperatures are between 95 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit and that's the reason why the colors turned to light lavender color and the size of the flowers is also very small look how beautiful my garden looks early in the morning with this beautiful Mexican petunias I encourage all of you to grow these petunias in your gardens to bring you happiness I hope my video has given you enough information to start growing Mexican petunia in your garden. Try to grow it and let me know the results. Thank you all for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more useful videos. Thank you.